As a crypto miner, it is extremely important to have the ability to liquidate your crypto quickly. Well, in today's video, we're going to talk about just that and having the ability to go ahead and swap exchange or sell your crypto on the fly with things like Flux and Ergo. What is going on miners and welcome back to the hobbyist miner channel. Well, as a crypto miner, yes, as the very beginning said, it is extremely important to have the ability to liquidate your crypto or to swap your crypto into a different type of coin. Now, no one is going to blame you. No one can expect crypto miners to hodl everything, especially right now when profitability is low and it is rough as a crypto miner. Well, Today we're going to talk about a site that I came across that I've been using for a little while now and some of my fellow friends in the crypto mining scene have been using that have made things easier for me. And so I thought, hmm, I like this tool, I like this website, let me share it with you. And that website is simpleswap.io. And what simpleswap.io does is it allows you to send crypto to it and swap it for something else that is more fitting. So great example for me. I use Coinbase to go ahead and liquid out, uh, liquidate out to uh, United States dollar, USD. And I know Coinbase does not handle or support all the crypto that I mine. So I need the ability to swap it quickly and easily. And I love Exodus Wallet, I use Zellcore Wallet, but they don't convert and swap everything. So that's where simpleswap.io came in for me. So in today's video, we're going to do a step-by-step -step guide on how to use this site, and hopefully it'll help you out. And I'm going to be using it today to simply swap my Ergo and Flux. All right, well, here we are, simpleswap.io. And we're gonna work through this step-by-step. -step. So first off, I just wanna show you kind of how the site works. It's simple and really easy to use. And I feel like anybody can use it and it benefits everybody. I've actually been seeing several of my fellow crypto miners in the scene just last night where we were, we were using simpleswap.io to swap two things to get Tron or Solana or Ergo in order to redeem our parallel assets uh, within Zellcore that we were mining within Flux. So it's a great way to kind of grab those coins quickly and easily if you need them in a pinch or as we talked about at the top of the video to liquidate nice and easy. So let's go ahead and take a look at simpleswap.io. So on here, it's very easy to use. You can buy and sell crypto if you want on this tab here, if you're interested. But for today's example, we're going to talk about the act of swapping or exchanging crypto. And this site does almost everything. There's a few on and ends that it doesn't have. But my understanding is that it's growing and it'll get there over time. So there's two that come to mind to talk about in today's video, Ergo and Flux. That's really one I wanna hit home about. Feel free to go over to their website and check it out though, uh, if you're looking for a certain other coin. So let's talk about Ergo or Flux. So here, let's take a look. So at the top here, you send, that means what you're exchanging. So in this situation, it has BTC, you can click the drop down arrow and start to type in something like Ergo. And bam, there you go. So you send X and then you get Y in return. So we could send Ergo or we can come in here and type in Flux and select Flux and then we could do Flux. Now, it's giving us some errors here because we're trying to swap to Ethereum, which we're not, no one's gonna wanna do. So let's go ahead and change that. Let's say like BTC for right now. So as you can see here, we can do Flux to BTC or we could do Ergo to BTC. And there are some guidelines. There are some guardrails in here. For example, a minimum, a minimum amount for Flux is 37 Flux. Okay. And it tells you that down below. When exchanging a small sum, transaction fees can take a large portion of the exchange volume due to high network fees. So these are all things to keep in mind. Do your own research. This is your PSA to make sure you guys read everything and go through everything. Everything has fees. Nothing is free. Keep that in mind. Now, granted, we really wish there was, but at the same time, something like SimpleSwap needs to be able to, to cover their costs. So I'm not holding it against them. Uh, this utility is for convenience. So we can also come in here and type in Ergo like we did before, and we can swap that to BTC as well. But there's a minimum here, a minimum of 10.8 Ergo. Okay, not a problem. I don't recommend you using something like this every day and swapping your coin every day. 
um, because it's really going to take a lot of fees. I would recommend that you do this in bulk when you're looking to cover certain costs like electrical costs at the end of the month or something like that. So we're going to go ahead and get started here and kind of walk through this. So we're going to use Flux for our example today, but you could use Urco as well. They both work very in interchangeably. And what we're going to do is we're going to exchange the minimum amount today We have our Flux because I am holding my Flux for a while. But for this example, we're going to go ahead and test it out. So we're going to do Flux to Bitcoin. And the reason we're going to go to Bitcoin is because then we can transfer our Bitcoin to something like Coinbase or Binance, whatever you guys are most comfortable with. That, and because everybody supports Bitcoin. So that's an easy win to just then send it to the exchange, swap the Bitcoin out and bam, we're good to go. Unfortunately, some of our favorite coins like Flux and Ergo just aren't available on these larger exchanges just yet to go from like Flux and Ergo to um, United States Dollar USD. Now, there are some other places that you can work with. Like example, KuCoin is a great site. I've used it many, many times. But the challenge is that it has a little bit of a learning curve. It's not as basic and simple, and there are some challenges along with it. But KuCoin's great. We're gonna talk about KuCoin in a future video. So Flux to Ergo right here. So we're gonna do, we'll say 38 Flux to cover ourselves here. So we're gonna type in 38 Flux, great. And now it's going to go ahead and it's going to calculate out what that Bitcoin is. And it gives us the warning here. When exchanging a small sum, transaction fees can take a larger portion of the exchange volume due to high network fees. Totally understandable. And it does have a floating rate here. Check this out. You can do a floating rate or you can do a fixed rate. Once we've gone ahead and do that, let's go ahead and click exchange. All right. So here's how this is going to work. Step one, it's going to ask us to enter the wallet address. So where is the flux going? So go over to your Bitcoin wallet, grab your Bitcoin wallet address and paste it in the recipient's Bitcoin address now. Okay, so for today's example, we're gonna use Zelcor. So I've loaded up Zelcor here and we're gonna to go to manage assets. We're gonna add an asset and we're gonna put in Bitcoin. Now it's added Bitcoin to our Zelcor wallet, but if you don't see it in the bottom right-hand corner, you have to click show balance. Once you've done that, there's Bitcoin. So we're gonna click on Bitcoin and we're gonna click the receive option. We're now going to copy that address just by clicking on it. We're going to jump back over to Simple Swap, and it's asking us for our, you know, kind of the, the 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 end result wallet, which is the Bitcoin wallet. We're going to paste that in there, and we're going to create an exchange. So what that's going to do is it's now going to build this individual exchange out for us. And let's read this from top to bottom. At the very top, awaiting your deposit, send 38 flux to that address. Okay, it's then going to swap it at the bottom, and you get. And here is the amount of Bitcoin that is available to us there. And it's going to put it in that address. We don't need to sign up for anything. There's no KYC. There's no account creation. It's literally as simple as this. Okay, so our next step, go into your wallet and send your Flux or whatever coin you're using to the address provided by simpleswap.io. For me, I'm going to take 38 Flux and we're going to send it to that address now and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we sent over our flux. Well, now what? Well, actually down below here, you can see I sent a deposit, what's next? So as you can see here, now all you have to do is wait. Please, no need to worry if you had already sent the funds and still see awaiting your deposit status. As soon as the transaction is confirmed in the network, you'll get your deposit. So I'm gonna keep track of how long it took and we'll report back once we go ahead and see that change. Okay, I may or may not have got a little bit distracted, but Let's go ahead and show you guys. So our, our deposit now, pending deposit, that's been completed. It's now at the confirming stage. So if I go over to Flux's block explorer, which is provided to you when you go ahead and do the transaction, it was sent at 6.58, the receive time, everything like that. Okay, so 6.58 PM and now it is 7.20-ish. So it takes about a half hour there uh, for all the confirmations to occur and stuff like that. So. Now, where are we at? So confirming the transaction, number of blockchain confirmations is 40. So once that's completed, we should start to see some action. So let's hang tight. Alrighty, miners, we have gone ahead and successfully swapped our flux for Bitcoin. And now we can transfer our Bitcoin over to something like Coinbase and cash it out and be good to go. Uh, the nice thing is it gives you all the details, all the wallets, all the transaction details. And then I brought up my Zellcore wallet just for this transaction. You can see September 18th, bam, there we go. We have our 0.0014 Bitcoin right in our Zellcore wallet. 
Alrighty, miners, that is going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. I appreciate you guys checking this out with me. I have really enjoyed using simpleswap.io, especially as I said, when I need to go ahead and get my hands on like Tron or Solana or uh, Kadena or something like that in order to go ahead and redeem the snapshot with Flux and things. It has worked out really well. Uh, whenever I found that other platforms like Zelcor or anything like that doesn't have a quick and easy method to swap to exactly what I want. So go over and check out simpleswap.io when you guys have time. Let me know how it works out from you. I'd love to hear from the community. Well, if you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.